else, or do you just keep the tension, prolong the game as long as possible, and at the right moment, speed up. And uh, talking of speed up, they have sped off and uh, came the Berlin rock solid from uh, Ferrugia. No Berlin draw. Oh. No Berlin draw. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I assume he's going to say anti-Berlin, but no, okay, he castles, and what is he going to go for in the end game? No, he goes for rookie one, solid stuff. I'm surprised I've got to say, Daniel, James. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I mean, of course, it's very solid, and it's a great reputation from the black side with this opening here. Of course, White still has very solid play, but hey, I think we need him on something a little bit more ambitious. He still can't go very ambitious here with some maybe some different rewards here. But I mean, this stuff's already played out many different ways. It's probably uh, going to be difficult for White for sure. Yeah, very forcing lines. Uh, I was saying the second kind of approach would have been just keep pieces on the board and uh, try to flag your opponent later when given the opportunity. The problem is here, pieces will fly off the board and unless you gain an objective advantage, the clock uh, is unlikely, unlikely to play a factor. Um, yeah, I'm really, really surprised. I'm also curious what he has in store, Dimitri. He would have had these things on his mind, so he must have a specific idea up his sleeve, but yeah, Rush has come prepared. Yeah. Ali Reza Ferruja with a very smart choice in the opening, going for the Berlin, and now Dimitri has to try to keep all the pieces on the board, keep the critical decisions for when Ali Reza's clock is really down on the minute. Bishop C5 played, looking for activity along that diagonal. Some threats, uh, some tactical ideas there. Bishop F2 in the air, you want to pick up that pawn once the king comes to F2, you can give a check on F6, win that rook, while Dimitri of course spots it, blocks it with the move Bishop E3, but this is going to be difficult to try to get something out of with white out of the opening. Yeah. Yeah, simple as that. <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> uh, there's an agreement here. We all agree. Uh, Black's main move, I've had this position actually myself. Okay, I was going to say Black's main move was actually to push the deep board forward, attack that white rook in the centre. But uh, Farouche is still very solid. And uh, okay, now he's just going to bring his Black Knight out, bring the Black Bishop out, and unless Dimitri can make use of his small space advantage, we'll see the equal position. I yeah. This one's still life left though. Yeah, there's some life left, but I mean, I do find that Black's just, oh, they always find these.
that's a mid with a check on d6. Maybe you've got to go king to g8, the other side then. Whatever he does, he has to do it now. It's under a minute and you have no increment. 50 seconds. And at this point, with the clock, even if he survives this, <laughs> it's a major attack. Right. Even if you had 10 minutes on the clock, it's hard to survive this game. Now, we've actually said this several times today. Queen and knight versus queen and bishop attacking combo. If you get the attack on the front foot move with the queen and knight, the opponent's pieces can't fight back, and this has got to be made, surely. Queen d6, you go in. You've got to go king g8. King a is a maiden one. Wait, wait, right. Oh, you're running for the hills here.